All right, I've got two new handguns today. This is the Rock Island Armory 1911. I picked it up for sticker price was 450. They gave it to me for 400. This is chambered in 45 ACP, aka 50 cents a shot. So I'm not gonna be shooting this much. I just thought it was super beautiful and I could not really pass it up. Maybe one day in the future ammo will drop or you know, it'll just be making a ton of money and I won't care. But for now, this is not gonna be used a lot. And what else I've got is a T Sus 1911 chambered in 9mm, aka a lot cheaper to shoot. So this is definitely gonna be my yard toy. And this one's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. They're both cool. This one's made in Turkey. And this one's made in the Philippines. So they're both really cool. You can see the bore size is a lot different because this fires a 45, and this fires a nine. I think they're the exact same otherwise though. I need to get my scale and weigh them, which is arriving tomorrow. Although this has a wood grip, whereas this grip is plastic. I have not shot any of these yet, so let's shoot them right now. Putting in my ear protection. I'm gonna go for that balloon on the far right. And again, I've never shot a 1911, so let's see what happens. All right, it chambered really well. And let's see how the sights work. I need to be careful about hammer bite. And... Okay. All right, this is embarrassing. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I didn't push in the clip all the way. Yeah, I was talking to my neighbor the other day and he was saying you gotta hit it in. And I'm just kind of gentle with my guns, especially when they're new. Alright, this is definitely in now. And it's chambered. Alright, three, two, one. This shoots really well. Alright. I had a cheap little concealed carry, Sky, SCCY, and I didn't I couldn't hit anything with that. This is a lot more fun. Alright. I'm gonna go for I guess the ice now, which is the two liter bottle. All right. I think I missed. There we go. All right, cool. I'm good with that for the moment. Let me set that down. And I'm going to try the 45. <clears throat> so the 45, again, these things are so expensive. I only put like five rounds in because I don't want to go crazy with it. All right. Let's chamber it. All right, I've never shot a 45 before at all, so let's see how this is. I'm gonna go for the balloon first, just to make sure I'm accurate with it. There's really not that much kick with this, because the 1911 is a pretty heavy gun, and it felt really good in my hand. My old uh, SCCY concealed carry was a nine millimeter, but it was like, every time I shot that thing, I was bleeding, because the kick on that thing was insane. All right, I'm just gonna shoot that trash can lid. I don't know. I'll shoot the ice. I missed it. I think I missed it again. And I'm empty. All right. Uh, that's about all. They both felt really good to shoot. The night, I mean, I didn't feel much difference, honestly. So again, I'm more of a nine millimeter guy. <sighs> Let's see if we can see the hole on that trash can lid. That was the only 45 through it. So it should be noticeable. And I shoot into this big cornfield here, so it's super safe, and I shoot pretty low. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say that's the 45. It's pretty big compared to everything else. And let's see. Yeah, I'm guessing that's it, because it's really fresh. Yeah, because I painted over all the other ones. The ice, <clears throat> thoroughly destroyed. And yeah, this is kind of my backyard range. I've got some stuff over there. I need to make it a lot prettier. And I've got this cool clothesline, which is super useful for like balloons and hanging other things. All right, that's it for now.